This fast radio burst repeats in a strict pattern and we still cannot figure out why this is happening. A very enigmatic, mysterious property of the universe. After taking new radio observations, astronomers ruled out a leading explanation for the cyclical nature of a particularly curious repeating space signal. A signal in question is FRB 20180916B, and it repeats with a 16.35 day periodicity every 16 some odd days. According to existing models, this could re result from interactions between closely orbiting stars. However, the new detections, which include fast radio burst FRBs, observations at the lowest frequency yet, do not make sense for such a binary system. Astrophysics Ines, uh, astrophysicist Ines Pastor Marazuela, University of Amsterdam, and Anstrom in the Netherlands says, strong stellar winds from the companion of the fast radio burst source were expected to let most blue short wavelength radio light escape the system, but the redder long wavelength radio should be blocked more, or even completely. He said, existing binary wind models predicting the burst should shine only in blue, or at least last much longer there, but we saw two days of bluer radio bursts followed by three days of redder radio bursts, and we rule out the original models now. Something else must be going on. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Fast radio bursts are one of the most fascinating mysteries in the cosmos. They're extremely short bursts of very powerful short wavelength radio waves, as in just milliseconds in duration. They discharge as much energy as 500 million suns in that time. Most of the fast radio burst sources we've detected have only been seen once. This makes them unpredictable and hard to study. A few fast radio burst sources have been detected repeatedly, repeating, although most have done so erratically. The FRB 2018096B is one of the two exceptions found repeating on a cycle of 16 some odd days, which makes it an excellent case for learning more about these mysterious events. Why is it happening every 16.35 days? Last year we also got a major lead on what could be causing FRBs, the first such signal detected coming from within the Milky Way. It was a spat out by a, uh, it was spat out by a magnetar a type of neutron star with an insanely powerful magnetic field, but that does not mean the case is entirely solved. We still don't know why some FRBs repeat and others do not, for instance, and why for the repeating FRBs periodicity has only been detected rarely. Now, when FRB 2018096b was found to repeat on a cycle, one of the leading explanations was that the neutron star emitting the burst was in a binary system with a 16.35 day orbit, and if this were the case, then lower frequency, longer radio wavelengths should be altered by the charged wind of particles surrounding the binary. Pastor Marazuela and her colleagues used two telescopes to make simulations observations of the FRB, the low frequency array, LOFAR for short, the radio telescope, and the West Wester Bork System Radio Telescope, both headquartered in the Netherlands, and when they analyzed the data, they found redder wavelengths in the LOFAR data, meaning that binary winds could not be present to block them out. Nor, for that matter, could other low-frequency absorbing or scattering mechanisms, such as the denser electron clouds. The fact that some fast radio bursts live in clean environments, relatively unobscured, by any dense electron mist is the host in the host galaxy is very exciting. This is what astronomer Liam Connor, University of Amsterdam, said. He said, much such bare, fast radio bursts will allow us to hunt down the elusive bary baryonic matter 
that remains unaccounted for in the universe. So if the binary explanation is ruled out, then what could be causing the periodicity? Well, it's still not aliens, sorry, this is what the scientists say. One explanation suggested last year involved a single object such as a rotating magnetar or a pulsar. This was thought to be a poorer fit for the data than binary wind of charged particles, since those objects have a wobbling rotation that produces periodicity, and none are known to wobble that slowly. But with the binary wind off the table, thanks to Lofar and Westerbork observations, a slowly wobbling magnetar is back on in on it, and this suggests we are still having quite a bit to learn about both magnetars and fast radio bursts. An isolated, slowly rotating magnetar best explains the behavior we discover, Pastora Marizuela said. She says it feels a lot like being a detective. Our observations have considerably narrowed down which fast radio bursts models can work. This has been published in Nature magazine, and it's on Science Alert by Michael Starr. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.